And good afternoon, folks. We have our next guest, and it's Cathy McAvoy, who is the fundraising manager in Cool Mine and also involved in communications as well, I believe, Cathy. Welcome to Deep 15 today, Cathy. Thank you very much for having me. Hi. Yeah, no, we're delighted. And as I say, we were speaking to Pauline last week, the chief executive of Cool Mine Therapeutic Community here, always known as Cool Mine locally. And yeah. the great work that you've been doing for so many years in our community and that you spread your net far and wide now and you're helping many, many people around the country to turn their lives around and to, I suppose, lead more fulfilling and interesting lives in themselves. And of course, addiction is such a hard thing to try and deal with for the individual and for families and those living with the person. But the Cool Mind Centre has been working hard over the last 47 years to try and assist people back to, uh, as I said a moment ago, a better way of life. And Cathy, you're here today specifically with Christmas just around the corner, the seasons of giving is upon us. And you're going to talk to us about the need for fundraising, very important, particularly during this time of the pandemic, when so many charities are struggling to meet their operational costs. and Cool Mine has a campaign on the way, which you'll be responsible for launching and informing people about. So perhaps you could tell the listeners what it is you're hoping to achieve over the next while. Yes, yeah, so um, as you said there, COVID-19 obviously radically affected all of our fundraising plans for this year. And um, so all of our planned events like community fundraising, such as, you know, church gate collections, backpacks, everything from events, fun runs, marathons, absolutely everything had to be cancelled this year, uh, which means that we were all put under huge pressure then in the organisation to make sure that, as you said, we were still able to help all of the clients that use all of our services across the country. Um, so during the summer, we actually managed an extra 18 calls every day from people seeking our service and seeking help for their addictions. Um, and all of these were related to issues that would have been caused directly by the COVID-19 lockdown. So we had individuals, for example, who might have realized during the lockdown that they did have um, substance use issues. We might have had calls from loved ones who may have first experienced their partners or their family members' addictions because they were living and working from home all of a sudden. So it really highlighted for us the need for all of these additional resources at a time when our fundraising was um, suffering. So this Christmas, we have gone in a slightly different direction to what we would normally do. Um, and we're launching a COVID-friendly fundraiser campaign. And um, so this will consist of an online raffle, firstly. So we have lots and lots of fabulous prizes from generous brands all over the country. Uh, we've got absolutely every type of prize you can think of up for grabs. So for fashion lovers, we've got designer pieces from two of Ireland's leading women's fashion designers, um, N.C. Kilkenny and from Jennifer Rothwell. Uh, if you're into food, we've got all sorts of hampers. We've got gift boxes. We've got vouchers for both sweet treats and for bits for the Christmas dinner. We've got beauty and health products and hampers. And um, so if you're getting dolled up, if you're lucky enough to be going anywhere, or if you're just looking after yourself, we've got you covered. Uh, we've also then got household goodies up for grabs from coffee machines, speakers, bespoke lighting pieces. And then for hopefully in December, when we might actually be allowed to go anywhere and treat ourselves again. And uh, we've got a couple of vouchers as well, which we'll be able to use for hotels, restaurants, spas, wow. afternoon teas. So lots and lots of it's up for grabs. Yeah, but you've got something there for everybody. You know, exactly. From a, a pamper to a DIY to a home yeah. interior <laughs> decorating or whatever. It sounds fabulous. And I, I suppose the best place to go to view all those goodies or what's an offer. Have you a particular uh, site address for people to look at that and uh, see yeah. how to get involved? So Exactly, yes. Yeah. So the best place to start is coolmind.ie, our website. So from tomorrow, Thursday, that will be that Christmas campaign will be launched online. You'll be able to get your raffle tickets and uh, get yourself in with a chance of winning all those great prizes. 
um, just by going to coolmind.ie onto our website and you'll find all the information you need there to enter. And, and that's for individuals. But of course, the, the fundraising campaign is about uh, so much more than that because you have a whole year for 2021 to sustain your operations. And as you say, there's a higher than ever demand, particularly during COVID-19, for your services. And I have no doubt that that demand will continue to persist into the new year. Yeah, exactly. So um, obviously recovery from drug use opens so many doors for people. So whether that's, you know, getting relationships back, getting relationships with their families back or education, employment, safe housing, all of these different things that Cool Mind can open doors to. As an added bonus for entering into that raffle, we're also reaching out to people for help opening those doors. So once you've entered into the raffle, you'll then get access to our virtual advent calendar. So this virtual advent calendar gives you the chance to open a door with Cool Mind for every day of December up until Christmas Eve. Uh, so this is an exclusive online advent calendar that you'll only get access to for making a donation through our raffle um, or for making a donation, you know, whether you're in a company or an organization that wants to get in touch with us and sponsor this campaign. Um, and each day you open a door, there'll be a new surprise waiting for you there. So whether that's music or Christmas recipes, different crafts we can have a go at while we're all sitting at home, um, some Christmas goodies, and maybe even a couple of uh, familiar Irish faces that you might recognize. Wow. So um, I didn't surprise behind give every gift. door. Absolutely, yes. Terrific. We want to thank all of our kind of generous donors uh, that are getting involved and helping out with that campaign. We want to be able to give you a virtual gift for every day of December. Oh, that's lovely. That's a lovely thought. And uh, how are you managing with the corporate giving? Has that sustained itself or are companies struggling as well during these times? And has that made it more difficult for Cool Mind to raise funds? So this year, we have definitely experienced a little bit of pressure. We've noticed that like all of our partners and funders, as all of us are under the same pressure with COVID um, and may not have the same to give that they may have had in previous years. But as always, all of the local businesses, all of our corporate partners have been incredibly generous all year, especially with the year that we've all been through. So we've still had amazing support from Irish companies all over the country. Um, and having said that, we are always open to more support. Yes, so if yeah. anyone, if there's any companies or any other organizations that want to get involved or partner with Cool Mine, um, to make sure that you get in touch through our website, uh, again, coolmine.ie, so that um, you can get in contact yeah. with us. And well, see. hopefully, maybe matters will start to improve in the new year once yeah. we have uh, regulatory approval for the various vaccines that are currently emerging as uh, with high rates of e efficacy for uh, the rest of the population. And we, we, we know that there are three candidates out there at the moment. So hopefully in the new year, early new year, that we'll be able to avail of those vaccines yeah. and start getting our lives back to normal. So in, in terms of the corporate donations and corporate giving, you would appeal to any of your residents in the Dublin 15 area or the companies themselves who may be listening or people working for companies who they may wish to uh, put a word into their boss's ear or if the, the boss themselves contact yourselves in relation to sponsorship and becoming a partner with Cool Mine. And as a, you have quite some big names there already on your sponsorship list in terms of the corporate donations and corporate giving. And they've had a huge impact on uh, how you've been able to make your services more widely available, of course. Yes, absolutely. You know, we've got incredibly generous partners. So we've had partners that will kind of, you know, choose us as their charity each year and we'll make donations. We've had charities that we work, or sorry, we've had um, organizations that we work with that, you know, help us get, for example, engineering apprenticeships for our clients coming out of services. We've had companies come in and do kind of home makeovers for us in the services wow. that a fleet yeah. 
of the whole organization will come down and you know do up the services to make it a more comfortable place for our clients to you know to go through this journey of recovery yeah, to stay you know. and recover yeah exactly um, so we've had incredible partnerships and of course, for anyone who may not be familiar with Cool Minds Great Work, you offer unique services in so far as particularly for uh, women with children or who are pregnant and expecting a child, that you have the unique facility of offering them residential units available for them while they're undergoing their treatment for addiction with Cool Mind. They can remain exactly. on site in a safe and caring environment. Yes, we're actually, we're the only woman and child residential service in the country at the moment. Uh, so that means that, as you've said, women who may be, you know, looking to start this journey of recovery and may not have been in a position to do so before now, as you've said, because they may be pregnant, because they may have young children, because uh, this can be a huge barrier, particularly for women uh, entering residential services when, you know, that will mean stepping away from their children for, you know, a time and uh, I, I was talking to another service provider in a different context uh, prior to our interview and regrettably uh, the type of facility that you're offering is very much needed more than ever they're seeing a, a, shall we call it an increased level of calls regarding domestic yeah. difficulties and uh, as the person said to me some very heart rendering calls and obviously, yeah. there's only so much they can do because they're not equipped like you are to provide that residential care in a safe environment for the woman and her children, uh, should it be necessary. It's not always available. So that's why, you know, I think we're very fortunate to have an organization such as yours who do provide that level of accommodation for people and that, as I say, nurturing and caring environment. So it's a very important social uh provision that you're making in Cool Mine yeah. and one that for 40 odd years, 47 years, almost the half century. And uh, yeah. as I say, it's a long, long time. But yeah, great. we'll have a big roundy birthday coming up soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the halfway mark to the centenary. But yeah. uh, I suppose it is, it's, uh, it's sad that we have to celebrate that because in, in an ideal world, there should be no need for the service. But we don't live in an ideal world. That's not the world we live in. And yeah. uh, as I say, it's great that people like yourselves are there to step in when, when there is a need. And uh, yeah. as I say, uh, desperate situations require desperate measures on occasions. Absolutely. Now, is, is there any other particular aspect of the campaign that you'd like to talk about, Cathy, uh, while, while we're here on air? Um, just again, to make sure that everyone knows that all they'll have to do to to join in this campaign is to go to coolmind.ie. And so as we've spoken about here, and as you've said, the need for these services, unfortunately, is just growing, particularly this year, we've seen a huge increase. Mm -hmm. um, and while we're currently offering, you know, residential services, community and day services, we offer such a wide range of services for people in all sorts of situations. And the only way that we can continue to do all of that is with the continued generous support of the Irish people. And um, so the more we can do, you know, all we want to do is grow our services and to both maintain and increase all of the services that we're providing to be able to spread ourselves out more nationally. Uh, we'll be opening a service in 2021, the second uh, woman and child residential um, mm -hmm. as a Midwest service down in Limerick. So again, yes. with all of with all of these things coming up in the new year, we need to make sure that we can sustain what we're doing now first to be able to yeah. grow anything yeah. further. And all of that's only possible with kind of these, with these donations, with the entering of our raffle, the sponsoring of our campaigns. So we'll just really, really ask people for their help and support in that. Absolutely. Yeah. And as I said earlier, a very worthy cause. And of course, if anyone has any influence with the powers to be in the corporate level, you know, corporate giving is a, a very important source of sustaining our operations. So again, uh, I know in Dublin 15, we have people from all walks of life living and working. So if any of you happen to be tuned in to 92.5 Phoenix FM, Kathy McNavoy in Cool Mine 
would delighted would be delighted to hear from you. And uh, if you're still using checkbooks, get one out and write a big check for them. Or uh, you'll take debit cards as well, I presume, and the yeah. like of that. We'll take just about anything at this stage, don't worry. We'll make good, it work. Good. Yeah, well, Santa Claus is on the way as well, and he's even gone digital from what I hear. So yeah. uh, lots, of, lots of giving this month and the month ahead. Well, Kathy, I want to thank you very much for coming on 92.5 Phoenix FM D15 today and taking the time out of your busy schedule to talk to us about your fundraising campaign. We wish you every success in that and in your continued operations over the next 12 months and beyond. As I say, uh, you're fast approaching the 50 years on the planet, doing all this great work. And hopefully we'll all be here to celebrate that uh, half centenary in a few years time. Yes, hopefully we'll be able to get out of our houses for it by then. <laughs> well, I hope we'll be out a long, long time before that. Kathy McAvoy yeah. from Cool Mine, who's uh, kindly talking to us for the last few minutes about the magnificent work they're doing in Cool Mine. And of course, don't forget to get the debit card and the cash out and be generous, folks, and donate to the worthy cause. Kathy, thank you very much. And I suppose it's probably okay to wish you a happy Christmas now at this stage, is it? Yeah, I think we've all decided Christmas can come a bit early this year. <laughs> Yeah, well, I see the decorations are up in my estate already. So I yeah. think that's the uh, kind of the, the flag is up and we're off. So the race, let the race begin to the 25th of December. And Santa is on the way, I'm told. He's getting the sleigh prepared. Kathy, take care of yourself. And my regards to all your team uh, of uh, frontline staff up there who do such great work. And to all your clients, have you a, a peaceful Christmas and a prosperous and healthy new year. Thank you. Thanks You're very, very much. You're very, very welcome. Take care now. Thanks. Bye. Bye.